It may not be mountain country, but Winnipeg has attracted ice climbing enthusiasts from across Canada. While it's not yet an Olympic sport, ice climbing will be showcased as a cultural event at the Sochi Games. And that has climbers here hopeful their sport will get a boost in popularity. Step by step, Nancy Hansen of Canmore works her way up a wall of ice in Winnipeg. The climbing enthusiast has scaled the Rocky Mountains in Alberta, but this 20-meter ice tower in St. Boniface brought her to Manitoba. This thing's fantastic. It's amazing. The sport itself has reached new heights. That's because ice climbing will be showcased at the Sochi Games. And it's definitely uh, given a, a bit of a new face to the sport and made it attractive and, and I think lots more people are trying it out. The Olympic Park will feature an ice climbing festival with a wall like this so visitors can learn and try. Winnipeg climber Brad Friesen hopes the worldwide exposure will get more people interested. And when they see that, I mean, that looks pretty cool. And hey, you can try that in downtown Winnipeg. Climbers from experts to beginners like me have picked their way up this wall since 1996. The president of the St. Boniface section of the Alpine Club says the sport has slowly grown in popularity during the structure's 18-year history. It's quite a unique structure in, uh, in Canada to have a 20-meter a ice tower in, practically in the middle of a city in the prairies. It's unheard of. Andre Mahé hopes the Olympics will encourage others to discover this Winnipeg gem. It will, I'm sure, promote the sport. And lower. Nancy Hansen knows the Canadian climbers who will represent Canada in Sochi. World Cup competitors Gordon MacArthur, Jen Olson and Nathan Kucher will demonstrate their sport on the Olympic stage. It's sort of the, the pinnacle of anybody's athletic achievement is to have an, uh, an Olympic award. While they won't bring home any medals this year, Hansen hopes in the future fellow climbers can go for Olympic gold.